and greetings from the St. Patrick's Window display at the New York Irish Center. My name is Stephen Long. I'm the Director of Arts and Culture here at the New York Irish Center, and I'm glad to be a part of the Irish Arts Center's Virtual Book Day in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. Today I'll be reading a passage from Mae Higgins, a Cork woman who arrived in New York in 2014 and published this book of essays in 2018. I'll be reading a description of summer in New York City from her essay, Summer Isn't the Same Without You. It's a reminder of time, what times were like before COVID, and maybe that we don't miss everything before the virus hit. On summer days, the city boils hotter than the countryside because of the asphalt, concrete, and metal that track the heat. And all those sizzling hot dogs don't help either, probably. Scientists call Manhattan an urban heat island, and it feels that way too, shimmering and expanding during the long sweltering days. Street smells ripen, sidewalks bulge with the tree roots, and birdsong turns to bird roar over the rising pleas of the ice cream truck. The sun is a mad conductor, whipping his metropolitan orchestra into a din that pummels every sense. Everything gets louder, closer, brighter. Underneath all of this, the subway trains rumble along, packed with grumpy commuters, oblivious school kids, and anxious tourists, all pressed tightly together. On a stalled six train, in a car with a busted air conditioner, a collective sigh goes up. A crammed woman looks up from her phone and asks, nobody in particular, am I crazy or is this train taking forever? A man whose armpit I'm facing and whose toolbox is squashing my feet speaks into my hair. She needs to chill, bruh. I squeeze my eyes shut and pray silently to nobody in particular, give me an airy mountain, a rocky glen. The train shunts forward and only the toolbox keeps me from falling. Give me a silty stream with moss covered banks that I may lay down and die in. I need to chill, bruh. <laughs>